गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टूडे सेशन इज़ फॉर जी एन एम नर्सिंग फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स सो इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फर्स्ट एड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ एसफेक्सिया एंड द ड्राउनिंग ऑल्सो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो वट इज एसफेक्सिया एज यू ऑल नो इट इज़ अ मेडिकल इमरजेंसी एंड इन द चोकिंग क्लास ऑल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस राइट सो एसफेक्सिया इट इज़ अ सीरियस मेडिकल इमरजेंसी so what happens in this asphyxia there is a deficient supply of oxygen to the body parts and this is because the person is unable to breathe properly so there can be many causes which can which can cause the abnormal breathing okay when there is a abnormal breathing there will be a deficient supply of oxygen to the body parts so this is known as asphyxia now what can be the causes the causes are drowning choking unconsciousness collapsed lungs gas poisoning electrical accidents or injuries and the strangulation so drowning what happens in drowning the person gets submerged or immersed in the liquid so the water gets into the lungs then choking there is a partial or the complete obstruction of the airway because of many reasons for example for in the childs there is a Uh, obstruction by the coin or food any vomitus also in the unconscious patient the tongue falls back and this will obstruct the throat in the collapsed lung because of any road traffic accident or there is a punctured wound to the chest so this may all lead to the dist uh, disturbance in the abnormal breathing gas poisoning for example carbon monoxide poisoning electrical accidents or the injuries strangulation because the person has done the suicidal attempt suffocation the person is in a room where there is a smoke uh, it is a smoke filled or it is a gas filled and the person getting suffocation then others disorders like asthma stroke head injury tetanus high altitude and the deep sea diving all these all these like asthma stroke head injury tetanus there is a abnormal breathing right in the high altitude there is the deficient oxygen supply in the deep sea diving the person is unable to breathe because the water gets into the lungs so these are all the causes which can lead to the asphyxia now what can be the sign and symptom noisy breathing dyspnea synosis of face fingers knees and toes rapid pulse the person may get disoriented to time place and person because to the body parts the oxygen is nil so in the brain also the brain cells will not get the supply then convulsions like seizures the person may get loss of consciousness and the gasping gasping in the gasping what do the person do it will open his uh, he or she will open his mouth and then they will take a short and quick breath that is called the gasping because there is a deficient supply of oxygen right so this is a defense mechanism the person will open the mouth and take a short and the quick breath then what can be the complications of asphyxia they can be brain death coma and the death also right now what can be the first aid management first call the emergency services then remove the cause of asphyxia this is the very important thing if you know that this is causing the asphyxia you have to remove that cause if it is choking you have to remove out the foreign object i already discussed what is the management of the choking right so you have to remove the cause drowning you have to safely place out the person from the swimming area or where the person is submerged right then if the person is in a room which is a smoke filled you have to keep the patient out of that room in this way the main important thing for the asphyxia is the remove the cause of asphyxia whether it is a punctured wound whether it is a road traffic accident whether it is any disorder right so remove the cause of the asphyxia lie down the victim carefully loosen the tight clothing especially near and around the neck ventilate the room if the victim is in room so if the victim is in, is in room you have to open the doors windows so there can be ventilation the person may get the oxygen then check the circulation airway and breathing and perform cpr if it is required mainly what is the important thing in the asphyxia you have to remove the cause of the asphyxia 
and you have to ensure that person may get the person get the oxygen supply right and you have to simultaneously check for the circulation airway and the breathing and then perform CPR accordingly now second is drowning so what is drowning drowning is the process of experiencing respiratory impairment from submersion or immersion in the liquid right now causes if the person is swimming and he he drink the alcohol so he may not be able to uh, in his senses or in his conscious levels and he may get submerged right then blows to the head or seizures in the water the person may get seizures while he was swimming right if the person is unable to swim then leaving small children unattended around the bathtubs and the pools this most this is most commonly happens in the house the parents they left the children unattended when they the, the children are in the bathtubs or the pools so these are the causes of the drowning now what can be the sign and symptom when the person drowns you can see the person will have a difficulty in breathing and he will uh, he or she will use his hands uh, for help right then there can be any vomiting bluish discoloration of face and the lips pale appearance cold skin chest pain cough with the pink and the frothy sputum and lethargy restlessness and at the end the person may be apneic it means loss of breath there will be no any breathing so these are the drowning signs and symptoms now what you have to do what is the first aid management as you all know the person is drowning you have to remove the casualty from water as soon as possible because that is the cause right you have to remove first is scene safety so remove the casualty from the water do not be hasty and ensure your safety first so do not be in excessive hurriness and ensure that you are safe and then you have to you have to ensure that person get safely out of the water okay then lay the victim on is on his or her back loosen any tight or the constricted clothing near chest neck or the waist then as you all know the water gets submerged into the lungs so you have to check the victim breathing right if the victim is breathing then you can place the victim in the recovery position then check the response of the patient right check the response of the patient by tapping on the shoulders if the victim is unresponsive then you have to follow this acronym d r s c a b let's see what is it is d means danger ensure the safety of self victim and the others then response check out for victim's response right if the victim is pre sorry if the response is present make the victim comfortable check for the injuries and monitor the response if there is no response then you have to send for the help ask someone to call the emergency services check circulation airway breathing and start the cpr if required so for the drowning <clears throat> you have to first ensure that casualty gets out of the water ensure your safety also then assess whether the person is breathing or not breathing right if the person is breathing then place the victim in the recovery position and monitor the response right if the person is not breathing you have to start with the rescue breathings right then simultaneously check for also circulation airway and d accordingly so in today's session we discuss the first aid management of the asphyxia and the drowning so there is also some uh, important things like manage the injuries because in the drowning person may get injured his hands extremities then you have to manage and then manage the shock so as you all know shock is the condition in which the person uh, in which there is a insufficient supply of oxygen to the body parts so deal accordingly we already discussed what is the management of the shock so manage shock thank you